I'll give you a specific, not very specific, but more specific than what we're talking about is like, you ever watch uh, trials and, and stuff on TV where it's like, uh, they always do the thing where they're like, uh, they were found uh, incompetent because of mental health or Such whatever. And so forth, yeah. I always think, what is the criteria to even like meet to where like you can't even stand trial? Because like to kill someone or to even like commit a crime, like a major crime, you would think you are, something's got to be wrong with you. Yeah, so like, for sure. What point does it get so wrong that you get away with it? So the level of that is very clear and distinguished. Really? Yes, it's very clear and distinguished. If you do, I'm dealing with it currently. Okay. With with a friend of mine um, who's developed schizophrenia. Um, if you do not understand how the criminal system works, you can't be held accountable for it. Is that the criteria? That's the criteria. So if you can't fathom, or I shouldn't use no, the word no, fathom, no, 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 if no. you can't comprehend the consequences, then you're then you're not held accountable for. So the these dudes that act crazy and still get charged with murder, let's use that one because they it's understand one. that. So that's sense. what they're that's what they're looking for. Yeah, they understand that they went. They what they want to know is when you knew that you did this this crime, did you know that you would go to jail for it? Did you know that the criminal system existed and that there was a ramification for your action you understand what i'm saying if they can convince a jury and a try and a and a and a judge appears well a judge appears and a judge a group of peers and a judge so a jury and a judge that you were competent to understand that when you made this offense you knew that there was a criminal system behind it that was there to hold you accountable for it and you understood how that criminal system worked mm -hmm. then you're held accountable so the people that get the insanity they did not understand that there was a criminal system in place and they do not understand how that criminal system and justice system works if you are not competent and cannot be held to understanding of the criminal system yeah, you cannot be held accountable. So it's it's and and, and it's a very horrible thing because it's almost like, well, what do you mean, like, you know what I mean? But it, it's that it, that's what it is. If you don't know that you're held accountable for your actions, then you can't be judged for them. I bet it would be a hard time for investigators or maybe. Have you ever been in a jury duty ever? Oh no, I can't be. But when you could be, well, you're a minor. I was a minor. I, I always think it would be fun, and I know that sounds bad, but yeah. like I think it would be fun to be in a jury at least once in my life. But I hope it was like for something major. It doesn't have to be murder, just something more like there's like twists and turns because I like I want to be able to kind of like be put in a position where I have to figure some stuff out. And I think it'd be kind of fun to go down a, a, a rabbit hole. That. But yeah. I mean, it's just so scary because at the end of the day, somebody's life. Yeah. And I'm saying it in a light way, but you're right. It's someone's life that's at stake. So you'd have to take it way more serious. Yeah, and I mean, you're the one guy who can hang a jury. Yeah. I also recently figured that out. I didn't always know that, that it has to be unanimous either way. All the way. Either so it's either jury, everyone thinks you you're innocent home. or everyone thinks you're guilty. Yeah. Otherwise yeah. it's hung. Yeah. I did not home. know that. I did not. I always thought it was a majority, like no. majority, no. majority. If there's a person that says, y'all got me fucked up, they will sit there all day and deliberate. And, and until then, they can get him to say or her to say, we agree. <laughs> no, sorry. That's a hung jury. That's got to be who runs that meeting, by the way, do you think? Oh, I'm, I'm sure. Is there like a head juror? No, hell no. That's a group of peers. That's, that's the way it works. It's a group of people who sit in a room together and deliberate and of course you're always going to have that person because unfortunately there's always that dynamic power inside of things i'm a lawyer i've been in this situation forever and i know i'm telling you and then you got this dude who's like i'll be real with you i've never ever been in this situation i yeah. stay at home and play video games i play playstation bro i've never even seen this that's how juries work you know what i mean it's kind if, of and and that's a horrible thing that's if your your prosecutor and your and and your your lawyer are playing it right because they're the ones that ultimately have the option to say I don't like this juror I don't like the way he thinks I don't like the way she thinks so that's why it matters if you it, have a good lawyer ultimately bro yeah. everything is is on the person who's defending you it always blows my you. mind when people think they can represent themselves I've seen some where it's like what were you thinking and then well, 
and then now I've seen some more publicized ones, specifically the Amber Heard, Johnny Depp one, yeah. where his lawyer is so good that it makes me realize like, oh my God, like you need someone kind of exactly what you said to not only understand what's going on, but to read the juror, yeah, jury and to definitely. know what do I got to say for that person to understand? Well, the what? thing is, is she picked and, like, read that a room. person. She picked that well, person. Well, she they picked half, right? Yeah, so, and exactly. then the other So that's what I'm saying. She picked that person who she's going after, I'm so, sure. Yeah, you know? that's a weird dynamic because yeah. you're right. She's trying to convince the other people she doesn't know. She doesn't care about also, those people. But also she has to capture, make sure she maintains her, her side or him, whoever it is. But yeah. So but she picked. Because guess, you know she picked the people who ultimately are going to think her client is innocent. You have that right. Like you're going to go towards the people who you feel like are going to lean towards your client being innocent because you're picking your half of the jury. It also makes you realize how bad it's horrible. <laughs> it's horrible. Yes. You mean you're sitting here deliberating it and you're like, holy shit. Now realizing the concept of how horrible it's so horrible. Somebody can just say, yeah, I don't like this guy because he's black and I've got a white. Uh, I've got Don't a, they do screening stuff to oh, make sure, but it doesn't matter. I'm not saying it hundred percent works, but how do you even screen for that? Right. You can't, Yeah. You, know. you can't, you can't. You, you, you can't go through a person's entire life and say, hey, you're not racist. Yeah. <laughs> well. I mean, you could try. <laughs> you can't. Yeah. No. I, <laughs> you can't. And you can't say you're not biased to this situation because you didn't have a friend who's been in that situation or you didn't have a life experience yeah. that says something tells me different. Well, I guess that's the beauty of it having to be unanimous. Then, that's right? exactly it's because you can kind of why. Out those people. Because it, no matter what, unless you all agree, we'll sit here for a month. Yeah. You know? And it's like, hey, you're not going to get me to believe this guy's guilty, bro. So what do you want to do? That's We're a hard have one. a hung jury. And then even like then beyond that, like, home, though, there's ultimately. certain things that hit people certain ways. Like if I was, I'm trying to think of a good example. If I was in a jury and it was about a pregnant mom, there's only so much I can understand that. Exactly. Even my maximal understanding would be different. I'm not a woman, so yes. I wouldn't understand that. Then, so, uh, and I'm then. using one example. So that's another hard part is like what, like. So again, maybe a good attorney would find a way to relate that. Yes. That's gotta be, that's a chess match. I guess it makes sense why these guys are in school. It's all war. I mean, if you understand anything about lawyers, there's this terminology you can't use. It'll kill you. There's a whole book that they have on literal terminology. That like a lawyer couldn't use? That that you can't use. I did notice they always ask, uh, it's not even questions sometimes. I don't know if this is like a, a, a tactic they teach you in law school, but I noticed they'll make a statement and then they'll, I'll give you an example. They'll say something like, you went home and then stayed home for about three hours and didn't call anyway, anyone, didn't you? They'll say things like that. Yeah. And then you uh, decided that you weren't going to do anything after that. Isn't that right? Yeah. Which is like kind of a question. Question, but, but they it's not. alluded it's you like to. It's like I shoved a statement in your head and then asked you to agree or disagree. Yeah, exactly. And I noticed they do that a lot. I wonder if that's like a tactic they teach definitely, at law school. Definitely. That's what I'm trying to say. There's an entire book on wordplay. Uh, which is a, more reason why you should represent yourself. Yeah, I had a friend of mine <laughs> tell me about that book, and he's like, yeah, there's a whole book on, like, terminology that you're not supposed to use. And your average citizen just doesn't know it. Yeah. It's like a taboo book, like a book that's hard to find. That's just, like, lawyers know about it. I, you should really only represent yourself if you're also a lawyer. And even then, you would think that there's benefits to having, like, a liaison. Someone else, yeah. Yeah, I would never. I would never.